Hi everybody, it's ATX Mom. I'm feeling really playful today, so let's talk toys. I want to talk about my 10 favorite toys for baby. Um, and my son is just over a year old, so a lot of the toys I'm going to talk about are appropriate for about you know, one to two year old um, little ones. And I'm finding it really hard to narrow it to 10 because he actually has a lot of really great toys that I'd love to talk about. So I will do my best to stick to 10. I might cheat a little. I might go to 11. Um, but the first toy I'm going to talk about is the Fisher Price Piggy Bank. Um, and the Piggy Bank's a pretty classic toy. You'll probably see it a lot on store shelves and at play dates and things like that. Um, it's got two modes. You can turn it to the numbers mode where it teaches you counting as you put the coins in the piggy bank. Or there's a music mode where it sings little songs. Um, and then you can press its nose and it's turn him on. Learning. It sings a cute little song. Um, the door is actually really easy to open, so that's great for little fingers. And then it comes with these 10 little plastic coins. There's some big and some small. And then it counts them as you put them in its back. Um, it's great when they're starting to learn, obviously, numbers and colors. But it's also great when they're learning um, just hand-eye coordination. It was great for my son um, to start to learn how to put the coins into the piggy bank. The one tip I will give you is um, I bought mine used at a used kids clothing store and I think I got it for three or four bucks. Um, but if you're buying it used, make sure it comes with all ten coins. Mine actually only came with seven coins, which is why it was so cheap. Um, so I had to find some more coins on eBay. You can buy the coins separately. They're honestly just as expensive as buying the whole toy. Um, so just make sure that's a tip. If you're buying it used, make sure it has all of the coins because it does count to ten when you put the coins in there and you want to make sure you have all of the coins for that. Um, the second toy, this is a bit of a loud toy. Not all parents may like this toy, but um, this is the Fisher Price Dinosaur Popper. And what he does, he has, um, he comes with all these little balls. When you turn him on, he starts bouncing and flipping the, the balls out and they come out his mouth and then you put them back in his tail. The reason I really like him, despite him being very loud, is it shoots the balls kind of all over the room. And so what ends up happening is the kids have fun running around the room trying to chase the balls. And then my son has a good time playing the game of let's put everything in the room inside the dinosaur and watch it bounce around. So his blocks, his mommy's cell phone, anything he can get a hold of, um, he puts in here. And this has almost like a little... Um, trampoline kind of thing that bounces that makes things fly in the air. Um, my tip on this toy is make sure you shop around on price because I almost bought him on Amazon for $40 at Christmas time and then I found him at Bye Bye Baby for $19 for the same toy. So just make sure you shop around and you get a good price on this one because the prices can really vary. Um, the next toy is actually from Ikea. And if you've never shopped the Ikea kids section, they've got some really fun, really great toys. And they sell these two sets. This one is the vegetable basket, and this is the fruit basket. And they are felt toy, um, felt fruits and vegetables. Really well detailed. This is the lettuce, and it has individual little lettuce leaves you can pull off. Um, this also comes with garlic and mushroom and some carrots. What's great is I've seen similar sets um, that sell for like $20, and these are between like five and $10 at Ikea. Really detailed, um, there's a leek, and some okra, and some tomatoes. And then the fruit section um, comes with a watermelon, comes with a banana that you can peel, which is super cute. Everything is just really well detailed. There's a kiwi, and the kiwi's fuzzy, um, apple slices. This was just a really fun toy my son loves playing with, and it was really inexpensive. And compared to some other sets I've seen that are much more expensive, this one's really, really affordable. Um, so Ikea has some cute stuff. The next toy is actually one of my favorites, if not my favorite toy. Um, this is Potsy. And Potsy is made, I believe, by Leapfrog. Yes. Sorry, I dropped 
Potsy everywhere. Um, Potsy is a little cooking pot and he comes with a spoon with little eyeballs and little pieces of vegetables. There's tomato, broccoli, corn, peas, and cheese for some reason. I don't know why he has cheese, but um, the thing that's great about Potsy, he's not super annoying, even though he does talk. I'll turn him on so you can hear. He says really funny things, and Potsy talks with a man's voice. And if you are like me, you have a lot of toys in your house that talk. Almost all of them have really annoying female voices. Um, and it was really important for me, for my son, to hear a toy that had a man's voice. Um, because, you know, mommies and daddies should have equal time. And um, so as you put things in Potsy... I don't know if you can hear it on my phone, but he um, his he'll splash the water splashes, and as you stir, he'll sing a little song about stirring. Oh, the he just says, "Oh, the nutrients." Um, he says really funny things. He's really entertaining. Um, we really like Potsy. I think he's a really really cute toy, and he's one that I I only found Potsy because he came up as a recommended product for me on Amazon. Otherwise, I would have probably walked right past him in the store and not thought to uh, to get him but I really love him he's really funny and uh, my son absolutely loves this toy he carries him around everywhere he carries the spoon around everywhere um, so that's Potsy um, the next toy are these squishy blocks and you've probably seen them this line of toys um, they carry them at Target and Bye Bye Baby has them as well um, Elemento I think is the name of the brand I'll list it out in the description um, these are the squishy numbers blocks. And the reason I like them is, one, they're really squishy. And each number also has a corresponding animal. So this is one snake. You know, when you get to three, there's three crocodiles. Um, they're really bright colors. They're super squishy, so you can't really get hurt on them. You can bite and chew them and slobber them all up, take them in the bathtub. Um, they also make a set of alphabet blocks. And if I can throw a shout out to the company, when I got the alphabet blocks, we accidentally lost two of the blocks. We lost the letter C and the letter I. And I wrote a letter to the company and said, you know, I'm really bummed out. My son loves these blocks and we lost two of them. Can I buy replacement letters? And the company was like, we'll send them to you. Don't worry about it. We, don't, we won't charge you for them. And they mailed me a replacement C and an I. And they were really cool about it. They sent me really friendly, really funny emails um, in response. So great company. They really care about their customers and their products. Um, I can't say enough good things about these squishy blocks. We really love them. So BU is the, uh, is the line from this, this company that makes these squishy blocks. So definitely check those out. Um, the next thing I want to talk about are puzzles. And we've done a lot of research on puzzles because my son first started playing with these wooden puzzles at the library at story time. And we shopped around for Melissa and Doug puzzles, which are um, kind of the staple in the wooden puzzle category. And they're really expensive. And what I found is a lot of them have wooden knobs that can have splinters and things in them. And I found this set at Walmart. Um, they actually came three in a pack. Um, and they're granimals um, on one of them. And then there's just um, some little animals on this one. They came three in a pack with a little wire puzzle holder. And I really like these in, over the Melissa and Doug puzzles because they have plastic knobs instead of wooden knobs. And they're in there with the safety lock so they can't come out. And my son likes to chew on the knobs and, you know, bang on the puzzles and things like that. Um, these are great for when the little ones are starting to just learn how to do puzzles because they're really simple puzzles. Um, he'll come from across the room and know exactly how to put them together. Um, but these were really inexpensive. I think the set of three was maybe $8 or $9 at Walmart, whereas you know, the Melissa and Doug puzzles are really expensive. So if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, these are really well made. We've been really happy with these, and we've bought another few sets of them, actually. Um, so yay for puzzles. Um, the next one, I'm cheating a bit, but I'm going to bundle these together and just call them classic toys. These are toys that pretty much every kid has, every kid has seen, um, but are all 
really great in their own right. So um, the first one are the Fisher Price shape sorters. So it's the little bucket with the holes in the top for the different shapes. And then inside are the little plastic blocks. Um, in our house, we actually call these breakfast blocks because every morning after breakfast, my son wants to play with these blocks. So we call them breakfast blocks in our house. Um, just the really classic shape sorter. I think these are less than $10, but you can find these used for sure um, at a lot of places because this is one of those toys that like every kid has. Um, the next one are the sorting cups. We found these at Babies R Us, and I think they were 4 or $5. And they're just like, they look like almost little measuring cups, but you can stack them up. Um, this is another toy that's like every kid has a set of stacking cups, but they're definitely um, great toys. My son loves to play with these, take them into the bathtub, um, fill them up and try to drink out of them, you, you name it. So these are definitely a must-have. And then the last is um, Play School makes this. You've probably had one of these when you were a kid where you press all of the little buttons and the little animals pop up. Um, this one I did buy used, and actually my price tag is still on there. It was $4.50. Um, but I think they run between $10 and $15 or so new. Um, this is just a really fun toy when they're learning hand-eye coordination. Um, it took my son a while to figure out how to work some of these knobs, um, but he's really good at putting all these doors down, <laughs> and he'll clap when he's done. So um, those are kind of the classic toys that we have to give a shout-out to. The next toys are puppets, and we found these actually at... Bye Bye Baby. These are Sesame Street puppets. So I'm going to show you. We actually have the full set of them, but I brought out our two favorites, which is Grover and Elmo. My son loves Elmo. He's never seen an episode of Sesame Street, but he somehow has gravitated to Elmo when he sees this toy. So I can't wait till the day when uh, we start letting him watch TV and he gets to see Elmo. I think he's going to be super excited but we like them because you can really um, try to get him in the shot here you can really articulate their mouths and they're just really cute really well-made puppets um, they're a little pricey they're um, between 15 and 20 dollars a piece so if you get all of the characters um, it can definitely add up but we bought ours over time um, and bought a nice little puppet rack to display them in his room and I don't know who makes these. It looks like Gund. I think they're made by Gund. Um, but if your kid's really into Sesame Street or likes the characters, it's really fun. We play Sesame Street music, and I will act out the scenes with the puppets for him, and he really loves that. So we really like those puppets. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about, there's a line of toys called Sprig. And Sprig makes toys that are green toys out of recycled materials. And this is our favorite. We just got this for my son um, for his first birthday. And this one is a little Jeep. And inside the Jeep is a little explorer. He has a little like, Indiana Jones hat. He goes in here and he comes with a little baby dinosaur. And we put our dinosaur inside our guy and a big dinosaur. They're just really cute. Um, again, they're made out of all recycled materials. We take them in the bathtub. He, he loves to take this to um, the sandbox and play with him in the sand. They're kind of really good rough and tumble toys if you have little boys, um, but they're made really, really well and they're green toys, so we really like the Sprig, the sprig line of toys. Um, the next thing, I talked about Elemento and the BU toys, um, those squishy blocks. They make this toy called, it's called like Pa Pa Pum Pum or something like that. Um, it's actually a toy drum. And this was another um, gift that we got for his birthday. So this is actually a drum. And then inside are all kind of musical instruments. So there are a set of drumsticks, and there's a tambourine, and some bells. a little rattle maraca and some eggs. eggs. We actually keep my son's other musical toys. So he's got a little rain stick and he's got another tambourine. He's got some more maracas and we keep those inside the, the drum too. Um, 
the reason that we really like it one, it's really well made. The toys are really cute. You can see there's the little bells with the little face on them. Um, and we've shopped around for some sets of musical instruments. My son's gone to a couple Music Together, Music Forever classes, and so we've been looking for musical instruments, and they're really pricey. And this whole set, I found this at Target for 20 bucks, um, which was a pretty good deal in comparison to some of the other. Melissa and Doug, I think, make some some sets of musical instruments that run in like the $30, $35 range. Um, and then it's actually got a strap so you can carry it around. I think once he gets a little bit older, he'll probably carry this around and bang it and give mommy a headache. But um, if you've got a little one that's really into music, this is a really fun toy. Um, my tip on this, just like the dinosaur, definitely shop around because I almost bought this on Amazon. It was much more expensive than it was at Target, um, which was surprising because usually Amazon has a little lower of the prices. Okay, I promised um, I would go to 11 on this one. I'm sorry, I just can't keep it at 10. So um, this is the last one. We'll go to 11 on this one. And this is one of the interactive storybooks that Hallmark sells, um, which are little stuffed animals, and then they come with books um, that the animal reads. You can read the story, and then the animal talks while you're talking and reading the story. Um, this is Bigsby, he's a little Bigfoot doll. And we got this for my son's birthday and he is really, really cute and really kind of amazing. The way it works is you read the story and there are some key phrases. I'll find one, I'll show you how it works. So you read the story and there'll be a phrase in the book that's highlighted in red when you read that phrase, it makes the animal talk. So I'll turn on Bigsby and you can see how he works. Bigsby ready for story. So I'm gonna read the red phrase now. Well then, it's nice to meet you. Uh, okay. And he'll say things like, Bigsby thought that was very funny. <laughs> Or, Bigsby, you're the best friend a kid could ever have. Bigsby loves you. So that's kind of how Bigsby works. He's really kind of amazing when you start reading the story and he responds and, like, your kid's face just lights up and is amazed. They have a couple of different um, animals. And there, I think there's a bear, there's a raccoon, there's a, a couple different ones. And we really liked Bigsby. We thought his voice was really funny. Um, he is... He comes with one book, and I want to say they're $30 for the animal and the book, and then every book after that's another $10. So um, it's a bit of an investment. Bye -bye. but He says bye-bye. Um, but it was really cute, and what I ended up doing was I had accumulated a lot of points at the Hallmark store from buying Christmas ornaments, and so I used my points to buy Bigsby. So I ended up paying, I think, a total of maybe $10 for Bigsby and all of his books because I had so many points accumulated. So um, if you find yourself racking up gold crown points, use him towards these storybooks. They're really, really cute and I really enjoyed him. So I, I couldn't resist. I had to throw him in as number 11. So I'll list out all of the products um, as I always do in my description. I hope you guys have fun playing and as we get older and get more um, grown up toys, then I'll definitely share those too. But I hope you guys had fun.